Nero, I need a really cool intro, so I need you to come be in the shot with me. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Look. Look at the camera. Love the camera. Why don't you love me? I feed you. I give you treats. I snuggle with you. I need you to stop being selfish. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I went to Olympia last weekend, and I had a blast. So much fun. I did vlog a little bit of it, but I feel like I was just really disorganized, and I just decided not to put any footage up. I have been in a little bit of a funk, <laughs> and I feel like I said that not too long ago. Um, because of that, I feel like I was just kind of taking some time away from YouTube, which is totally normal, totally healthy for some YouTubers to do. So, I mean, I've still been posting on my Instagram and my Snapchat. So make sure to check out those Buff Bunny on Instagram, Buff Bunny on Snapchat. So, moving on. Nero, we're about to eat some breakfast. Almost starting to pick these donuts off my shirt to eat them because I'm so hungry. You ruined my intro. You didn't want to be in it. Do you want to go outside? Is that what you want? Do you want to go outside? Okay, fine. Run, run, run. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful it is, Nero. I like cooking. Nope. So my breakfast, I like hardly ever do this for breakfast. I prefer to eat real food, but sometimes I drink a protein shake. The one up protein is great, but it is uh, very, very low carb, low zero sugar. Like it's just like basically pure protein. Um, so I pick these up sometimes at my local grocery store and it's not like a meal replacement, but it's 240 calories, uh, 26 grams of sugar. 26 grams of carbs, 26 grams of protein. So sometimes I'll drink this kind of as like a snack in the morning and then I'll have like some oats or something along with it. Ah, basically when I don't feel like cooking. Oh, I swear I, got, I swear I lift. Ah. <laughs> now I have some work to do. I'm just gonna edit some clips for Instagram in my donut onesie because I'm probably not taking this off today. I know you guys are jealous of my onesie right now. Do you have to wear makeup to the gym? No, no you don't. There are some times that I wear makeup, sometimes I don't. It doesn't look dramatically different than my regular face because I don't really wear a crazy amount. So like I said, keep it light. If you are like super against wearing makeup to the gym, that is totally cool. Don't wear makeup to the gym. If you are like, you know what? Wearing a little bit of makeup like boosts my confidence. It makes me feel better. Because some girls have told me, they're like, is it bad that I feel better when I'm wearing a little bit of makeup? No, it, it's not. It's, I basically feel the same whether I'm working out with a little bit of makeup on or with no makeup on. I'm gonna tell you guys out there, don't bash the people that wanna wear a little something or people that, I've seen some people go with a full face of makeup onto the gym and I'm like, you know what, that is none of my business. I'm not gonna like make fun of you. Maybe you got just got off work and you went straight to the gym. You don't know their life. Like you don't know where they came from. Cause I've been there. I've been to work before I go to train right afterwards and I don't have time to like wash all the makeup off. I'm like, no, I'm gonna get into the gym and I'm gonna start training hard and get my stuff done. Rather than wasting time by going home and washing my face off, no. I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna get my workout in and then I'm gonna go home and stuff my face. I'm gonna go change out of this onesie now. <laughs> High time Lululemon pants. They have this cool mesh paneling all on the side of them. So I really like those. They are like hunter green color. And then I'm also wearing a Lululemon sports bra, all white, plain. And then I'm wearing my Buff Bunny crop top in white. This is one of my favorite tops. We will be restocking these in about three weeks. I am just waiting for the shipment to come in. Ta-da! Here is the outfit of the day. I love this mesh. I love how high up it goes. <laughs> My mom probably won't love it, but I do. Yes, yes, yes. Another thing I'm gonna be doing today is getting a new gym membership. I've recently been wanting to switch it up by going to Gold's just because I travel so much and Gold's is everywhere, so it only makes sense because I go to Gold's when I'm out of town. So that's on the agenda today. We're gonna go get a new membership at Gold's. Yes. Who else goes to Gold's? Comment down below. Just curious, because it's such a big gym. I mean, it's such a good, there's so many of them. I feel like everyone goes to Gold's. I'm gonna miss Lifetime. I'm gonna miss it. But uh, I'm excited about this new chapter in my life. 
by switching to gold. <laughs> Eating the rest of my breakfast. Like I showed you, I drank one of these. Not the best uh, micros in it, but it's all good, it's all good. Two English muffins, they're protein English muffins. Um, I had told you guys I lost a little bit of weight when I was in Alaska, so trying to get my gains back right now and my legs and glutes, because that's where it goes, it like leaves right away. The struggles of being a female, sometimes we gain too much weight, and then like, we'll like lose weight and then just our weight's up and down. Don't listen to me. I see these people online, on Instagram, on YouTube, taking like one, two, three, four, five scoops of pre-workout at a time. Like, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Are you trying to die? I haven't had had coffee today. I don't know why I'm so wired right now. Probably because I'm home alone with Nero and I'm just like, pre-workout. I do not take it every day. I take it when I need it. Sometimes when I don't need it, like right now, I just take enough. I just take enough to be like, bam, okay, boom, let's go work out. But I don't freaking like consume more than I need. I don't need, I don't need a whole scoop. I don't need a half scoop. I take a quarter scoop. I'm good. Gets me all feisty. Really? I'm still wearing my crop top. It's about to go down. I'm still making the gym, guys, and I'm still wearing my crop top and my white shoes, even though it's raining, because YOLO. And I got my beats on. All right, guys, and now, because the weather sucks and it's raining again, again, we are gonna procrastinate in the car. Buy some pre-workout jams. You know, get the pre-workout going even more than it already is. <laughs> YouTube family so in the gym and this workout is really for growing the legs as well as the glutes like I told you guys I did lose some weight in Alaska and I felt like the majority of it came from my legs and but it's really hard for me to maintain larger glutes and legs I feel like a lot of my weight goes to my upper body um, which there's you know positives and negatives to that started off my workout doing uh, you know a little warm-up did 25 reps with a 45 pound barbell followed by 15 reps with 95 pounds, and then I did 10 sets of five reps with 135 pounds. That, I mean, I can obviously do a little bit more weight than 135 pounds, but when you're doing 10 sets, you wanna do a weight that you'll be able to do 10 sets of five with. Um, second exercise I did was a reverse hack squat, and I did five sets of eight reps, and whenever I do heavier leg days whenever I'm trying to grow the legs and glutes. I typically stay in the five to eight rep range, but towards the end of my workout is when I will start increasing the reps to really fatigue the legs out. Uh, Cause sometimes even when I'm lifting heavier, I feel like my legs can keep going and going and going. But then once I throw in some higher reps in there, my legs are just finished, like <laughs> right there. Ouch. You might have noticed with the leg press, sometimes I have my feet higher up, that is gonna target more of my glutes and hamstrings, and then sometimes I'll keep my feet a little bit lower, which will target more of my quads. A lot of times I will just switch back and forth between each set. And I finished off with some pull-throughs, and this targets 
more of your glutes and hamstrings. I did four sets of 15 to really, really fatigue the legs, which it worked. Um, make sure that you squeeze as hard as you can when you're at the top of every single rep and you really feel it. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay guys, so I'm grocery shopping right now and I realized that I shouldn't be allowed to grocery shop without an adult present because I obviously shop like a kid. You know, chicken, steak, beef, and then you come over here and I got chips, and pizza, ice cream. I'm obsessed with these and I have a plant. I don't know why I'm getting this plant, but it's festive. I totally wanted macaroni and cheese, but they didn't have any left. My stupid plant. What's up, guys? Back at the house, and I'm eating my next meal. Um, we're just gonna pretend there's two sugar cookies. Did not happen. While I was putting groceries away. We're just gonna pretend. <laughs> we're just gonna pretend. I'm just gonna edit, I'm probably gonna edit this out and we're gonna erase it from our brains and memory. It didn't happen. Wearing a disguise. I am eating some uh, okay, macaroni and cheese that I got at HEB. It is bomb. And then uh, some grilled chicken that I made the other day. And I'm also cooking up some broccoli in the microwave right now. Steaming, so. Broccoli. I like broccoli. And I need my greens. And that is probably, I think it was like five and a half ounces of chicken and uh, a little over a cup of mac and cheese. I had a few bites. <laughs> and then we get ready because I'm going to dinner tonight. Going to dinner with the Buff Bunny squad and we're going to a Brazilian steakhouse. So it is all you can eat. It's mostly protein, so it's not that bad, but they have these butter rolls that are just so. No, they're cheese. They're cheese rolls. Oh God. Saving most of my calories for that. <laughs> Did like the fastest little spruce up ever. <laughs> Did not wash my hair, but dry shampoo works wonders. I have a pantsuit on from uh, BB. Shoes are from Steve Madden. That's <laughs> Chamagacha. Really good food. Aye. Come on, I lift. Just be natural. I can't be natural. <laughs> I told you you were gonna love it. Hello. Act natural. <laughs> And then for Gretchen Wieners. <laughs> Me being natural. Everyone is so good at shimmying except me. My shimmy's broken. Lexi, too. Shimmy. Shimmy. I'm about to do it and then just dive in and then dive. Wow, you can eat. Wish Happy you. birthday to you. Why, why'd you do it so seductively? So I can't put that on my vlog. My mom watches it. Hey, ladies. <laughs> 907, no Cheesecake. filter. Cheesecake. <laughs> we got creme brulee. I put on private. I don't need a filter. You, you guys. Katie's ready. Hey, no. Get in there, Katie. Not you. You're here to watch. You look so good when you eat. <laughs> Your little slota. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. My chest, and you're pulling. Do you remember when we the waxed hair? the Buff Bunny logo into my chest? Not with the hair. And I'm bleeding out of my chest. <laughs> <laughs> but never again. Vlogmas is coming, guys. We need more time. Oh, we're gonna do it again. Uh, I can hold this photo. Too much. <laughs> Are you videoing? No, we need a photo. Yeah. Hold on, let me upload. Kind of heavy right now. Okay. It's real cute. Yeah. Is it good? Oh. Mr. Bridges is gonna throw herself in. 
Hello. <laughs> What's up YouTube? So I am home and I am using my lighting for once. Just want to say like dinner tonight was amazing. It was so much fun. It was a breath of fresh air. Really getting to hang out with all the girls and I haven't really introduced everybody that helps us out with Buff Bunny Collection. Um, so I just wanted to explain who is who. We have Danny, the mixture of everything. She does help with customer service. She helps with shipping orders, packing orders. And then we have Colleen, she is new, and Colleen is head of customer service. And then we have Katie. Katie helps with uh, designing um, when it comes to designing the clothes, uh, colors of the season. She is fantastic at it. She goes over different Pantone colors with us. She's like the head of product design. And then we have Lexi, who is our COO of Buff Bunny Collection. She kind of manages everyone, manages everything, and she is kind of like me. She's me when I'm not there, and she's me even when I'm there. She'll be like, hi, get to work, or I'm gonna fire you. She's like, Psh, she's doing this. <laughs> she's, um, now she kind of manages the entire Buff Bunny Collection company especially when I'm in and out of town and everything she makes sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing it, it was such a fun dinner and everyone was like a blast like we really are like a close family um, even with Danny and Colleen being new like everyone just gets along so well uh, we all like just joke and laugh and have a good time but when it gets down to business we all get serious I am just so proud of what we have all done not just me but I mean the team behind it and the team of girls um, are really amazing and I'm just so grateful for them. We are gonna take over the world. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Nero.